Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Welcome back. This is the Prevail TV, and today we're gonna go straight into the video, which is about the Olympics. I almost asked God to rain fire upon them, but I remembered God would not destroy if there were at least 10 righteous people. So I said, you know what, Lord. I'm not gonna even pray for that anymore. If it is your first time here, please hit that like button and that subscribe button. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for watching the video. Let's get into it because this is gonna be a very interesting take. Yeah, dang. <laughs> So guys, this has been a disgusting opening ceremony so far. I I cannot understand how um I know why friends would allow something like that because the Bible called friends the spiritual Sodom and Egypt. In chapter 11, verse 8 of Revelation, I made a video, you can see it right here, and I went through the history of the French Revolution. If you haven't seen it, watch that video up here. It will, you will see an eye opening about friends you didn't know. This is the disgusting thing now that they want to put in front of people. Now, not only that, what they decided to do, guess what it is? Well, we can't just you know, put it in front of children. We have to include children in it. They included a child in this thing right here. You can see it right here. And this is absolute garbage absolute garbage but let's keep on moving he reached out to ceasefire the president doubled down on their decision to part ways with the olympics well i love lady gaga and celine dion but i thought it was very disrespectful and sacrilegious mississippians are responding to the paris olympics open ceremony the ceremony not only getting backlash from viewers but also local companies c spire went to social media announcing that they are pulling advertising from the olympics the technology company feeling like the sporting event made a mockery of the last supper i think that's a great idea some believe a portion of the Olympic Open was emulating the final meal Jesus shared with his disciples before his crucifixion. The thing is, it is relating to the last stopper. It's not like we are making it up. This is, for some reason, first thing, you see, and this is why. Guys, listen to this. This is why God said in Exodus chapter 20. <laughs> you see, when people actually don't take God at his word, this is what happens. I'm going to show you guys something. This is why God, oh man. It's like, you can't make this up. This is why God said this. I'm going to show you this, guys, right here. Look at this. In chapter 20, in the Ten Commandments, verse number 4, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images or any likeness of anything. 
where where of anything where that is in heaven above right in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth right god said that thou shalt not bow down death Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I, the Lord, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the son, upon the children, to the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and do my commandments. Guys, God said, do not make graven images. And so because somebody thought it was a good idea to make a portrait of the Last Supper, guess what now? Now, people have taken that picture. That, that, that portrait could have had not even been, it could have been that Jesus wasn't sitting at, at all. But someone, some Italian guy, made a portrait, and people were run with it thinking that's actually what happened in the Last Supper. And so now we have the satanic agencies taking that Last Supper and throw it in your face, adding even a little child. This is an absolute garbage. Saying what they saw during the performance does not align with Christian values at all. I think it's just indicative of how that the people tend to criticize a Christian's religion rather than any other religion. It, it wouldn't have wouldn't have flown if it had been against the Muslim religion or another religion. I thought it was great. Um, I've been to France a couple times. Others feel the open ceremony is being misunderstood and has nothing to do with Christianity. We reached out to C Spire, the president and CEO Susie Hayes saying C Spire is supportive of our athletes who have worked so hard to be a part of the Olympics. However, we will not be a part of the offensive and unacceptable mockery of the Last Supper, which is why we're pulling our advertising from the Olympics. Governor Tate Reeves also went to Twitter standing in full support of C Spire's decision, saying, I am proud to see the private sector in Mississippi step up and put their foot down. God will not be mocked. Yes. God will not be mocked. Actually, you know actually what will happen next? There was I heard there was a blackout. God was like, oh, you wanna you wanna do that? Okay, I'm gonna cut the electricity. Boom. No electricity for a while except for the Sakeko the Sakeko Cathedral. Everyone else was blacked out. God said, Yeah, you wanna do that? I'm gonna show you what I can do. And I almost asked God to rain fire upon them. I almost asked God to rain fire upon them. Remember when Jonah preached that message and then was like, okay, God, now destroy the people? That would have been them asking God to destroy them just as Sodom and Gomorrah ask God to destroy them. But I'm not surprised because friends is the end is the type of Sodom and Gomorrah spiritually as it was recorded in the book Revelation chapter 11 verse 18 and the Google controversy page chapter 15 the Bible and the French Revolution. But let's see some reaction of the people. Because the people were not happy with what was going on. This guy, Cinema Shogun, says, This is not parody. This is the opening ceremony for the 2024 Olympic Game in Paris. Opening ceremonies used to be amazing. What type of 
and and demonic is this? I am disgusted. And yes, you should be disgusted to see something that evil. I'm not making this up. Next, drag queen and little children at the opening. Yes, there was a little child in that thing. And people think when we call, look at that, look at that, look at that. And we people people call us um um homophobic, transphobic, drag queen phobic. No. We are protecting our children. And this right here. Let me actually make it bigger. This right here is exactly why we are against the lifestyle that those people are promoting. This is wickedness at its finest. Actually, Jesus said before the time before he comes, it will be like the time of Lot, the, uh, the time of Lot in Sodom and Gomorrah. And he hasn't come yet. That means this right here is just the beginning. This is disgusting and repulsive beyond words. And maybe, and maybe best symbolizes the decline of Europe. Yes, this is why Europe is falling like that. The same way when California decided to ban the Bible, what happened in California? They removed God, then God removed his protection, and all those terrible, nasty things started to happen in California. You ask for it, you get it. Next, how 99.999% of people felt about the Paris? Even people that are doing, even non-Christians, even, oh, this is how hmm, terrible this thing was. Even non-Christians were disgusted by that. That tells you that LGBT agenda is an abomination because this wasn't just Christian. This is worldwide looking at this abomination. Yes, let's talk about it. Even the French were horrified by last night. Even the French. Actually, what? Let me play the sound for you. So, let me let me read this to you guys. Um, for those of you who are... This is... For those of you who don't speak French, this basically says, you are watching the ceremony or the opening ceremony of now J O means Jeux Olympic. So in English it will be Olympic Games. And you realize this is that this is the last season of um Strumps. Maybe that's a TV show. So let's think of it like that, okay? And let's see how they react. <laughs> And she says, now the people from other nations will look at us French as weirdos. It is even the French were disgusted at this insanity. Imagine the rest of the world. <laughs> <laughs> look at his face. He's like, look at, look at his face. He's like, what in the world is going on? No, 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 no! And they left. Dude, like, guys, this is how demonic, when people reject God, this is how far they will go. This is how far Satan will possess them 
to go. That's just the beginning. They will go worse than that. Let God remove his spirit from this earth. You will see how wicked people will get. Let's keep on watching. <laughs> yes, guys, I, I am not making this up. People were offended to the beyond. Now, because of what actually happened, Paris in blackout with no power just 24 hours after the Paris Olympic ceremony where they marked Jesus. Do not play with God. Yes, this is the real France. French farmers protesting against the government on the streets with their flock of sheep. This is to tell you how debased and satanic that abomination happened. And of course, France would allow it. But I'm going to stop because I don't want to go too long. Don't forget the Bible and the French Revolution. Great Controversy, Chapter 15. It's right here. Guys, don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button on your way out. It was the Pencil TV. Hope to see you guys again. Once again, bye for now.